First, loss aversion. This arises from feeling more pain from a loss than pleasure from an equal gain in magnitude. For example, if an investor loses $10, he would feel much more anguished than the joy he would have if he gained $10. Let's see if you exhibit loss aversion bias. In one scenario, you're given $10 and you have a choice to either receive an additional 5 with certainty or to flip a coin and win an additional 10 if it lands heads up or nothing if it lands tails up. Which would you choose? And in a second scenario, you're given $20 and you have a choice to either take $5 loss with certainty or flip a coin and lose nothing if it lands heads up but lose $10 if it lands tails up. Which would you choose in this case? Now, if you study all the options rationally, the expected value of your wealth is $15 for every scenario and every option. So a rational investor would be indifferent to either choice in either scenario. However, in a study conducted by Kahneman and Tversky in 1973, most participants chose the riskless option in scenario one which is to receive an additional $5. However, most participants chose the risky option in scenario two, which is to flip the coin for the chance to avoid losing. This study concludes that individuals display asymmetric responses to gains and losses relative to a reference. In scenario one, the reference is the $10 initially given to the individual. The individual perceives the choices as a gain with reference to the initial $10, and individuals prefer not to take risk when faced with gains. In scenario two, the reference is $20, so the individual perceives the choices presented as a loss with reference to the initial $20. When faced with potential loss, the individual is willing to take risk in the hope of avoiding a loss. These conflicting responses exhibit investors' attitudes towards gains and losses. Crucially, people fear losses far more than they value gains. In financial markets, consequences of loss aversion bias may include selling to avoid a loss, which may result in trading too much, which increases transaction costs and decreases returns, or incurring too much risk by continuing to hold on to assets just because they are lower than cost, even if the asset has lost its fundamental value. Be very clear that loss aversion does not mean that an investor avoids risk. Rather, it means that the investor has a tendency to avoid losing. In extreme cases, an investor who has a losing position may take on more risk in the hope of recovering the earlier losses. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.